how long have you been involved with real estate investing? It's been about a year. From all the other careers out there, why real estate? I guess I've always just been called to it. No matter what the economy looks like, it's not going anywhere. It's it's very stable. You could have had chose other careers to add on to your previous career. Mm -hmm. Why real estate was on the top of the list for you? I've just always been very interested and I feel like your work should always drive and energy and a passion. I guess when I, I think back uh, in college, you know, they talk about uh, different ways that you can take your money and put it to work. What was the fear that was going through your mind throughout the process? You, everybody always said, use other people's money, do X, do Y, but they didn't tell you how. That was my fear. So a lot of programs would say, call your parents, call your friends. I'm like, I'm not calling my parents or my friends, but I don't know what I'm doing and I could lose their money. And why did you chose a real estate investment? I chose real estate because I wanted to put my money to work. Right. So we work to live. We don't live to work. What would be the things different that you could do it back then if you knew what the thing that you know today? Retirement account. I do so many things in my self-directed account because I spent all those years making that money and chucked it away and it's there and I could use it. And had I known what I'd known in 2008, it would have been a game changer. What is your background as career wise? I'm also an independent um, executive consultant. So I work in people operations, which people know as human resources. Would you go back to college to get that career knowing what you know about the real estate today? If I'd known, I probably would have gone uh, more economics and gone straight into the real estate. If there was a way I could dial it back and, and go in from day one, absolutely. What are the things that you hope or wish for your kids in terms of career in college that you would like to give it back to them for them to have more options? Everybody has different values. And for my kids, I establish, you know, know who you are know your values and then and pick your career based on that. When you told your family that you were going to become a real estate investor, how was that transition? I think everybody is generally nervous, right? Of losing money, but yes, they were supportive. Let's talk about your first deal. Mm -hmm. How did you find it? So I actually found it through a wholesaler. It's one of my powers, one of the things I can do. I can pull people together and through my network, um, I found this deal. They had it um, posted for retail sale, but then out of nowhere, the investor that owned the home decided he wanted to pull out faster and put his money into an apartment complex. So I just happened to be positioned. I had money ready for lending and I hadn't committed to a deal yet. And I was positioned to be able to do a cash buy how much money did you make over that particular deal? About 100000 It was a, a flip. What was the challenge that you had with that particular deal? It's probably people-related because I always partner with people. So it, it's a first-time partnership. So you have to figure out how you communicate. When you say certain words, what do they mean? Or, you know, making sure all the bases are covered. Everybody knew exactly what they needed to do, but exactly who's doing what so that it goes smoothly. Like, how long did it took you to do that renovation? Just about a month. When you got that money, what was your aha moment? Everything went directly to my 401k because I funded with my 401k. So I didn't go off and like celebrate besides with like a glass of champagne. When did you feel that you were in the right path and you were doing the right things? I guess when we got that check. When I started about a year ago, I had rolled everything to a self-directed. The market started going down. I was like, I made all the right choices at all the right time. Do you mind share with us? How many deals have you done? Four, I would say. Um, but that doesn't count passing leads. Gosh, the number of foreclosures I've stopped. In one 12 months, you've done four deals. And grew my weekly meeting. I mean, we have 180 participants. Why is that important to you? I'm good at it and it's building community. So I like to do everything with purpose. If you were going to sell your home today, how much money would you make? Net my repairs that I did, 300 to 375, just depending on where the market would be. How does that make you feel when you say, you know, in 12 months, you made all these amazing things yes. and you bought your homestead. How does all this make you feel? Excited, like I accomplished something and I have more to accomplish. When you start the program and start the network, there's so many resources. Is your husband investor with you? No, not at all. How do you transition and then communicate with him? 
he needs structure and he needs to know the plan and he needs to know what's happening every day where I need to not be stuck in something that's repetitive and always the same. Are you making more money now than were on your previous job that you're still doing part time, mm -hmm. but are you making more money now? I was already fairly highly compensated and I fully expect it will make more money. It, it'll snowball. What keep you motivated to be entrepreneur, a real estate investor, a mother, a wife, and they still find time for yourself for mm -hmm. you not to lose who you are? I guess to provide the best possible future for my family. So again, every little step is a step forward. So even if I do five things and I meant to do 20 things, so it's still five things I did. Celebrating the activity and just making sure there's more activity. Does money motivate you? The freedom of money motivates me. So I don't have to have the fanciest car and I don't have to live in the biggest house, but I want to have enough of a safety net where if I want to take off two months, I can because I want to go to Europe and I want to travel and I want to have this experience and I don't have to worry about, is my boss going to approve it? Like I, I've set it up where I make the choices. You have to have the money to be able to do that. How do you give it back to the community? I guess in a couple of ways, from the investor perspective, um, I do host a weekly meetup. I try to focus on everybody increasing their ability to connect and who they know and their knowledge through investing and, and bringing in that income. I can spend more time in the community. So when do you define, now? this is my time and I must get it done for myself. I do a lot of block time. So, you know, I have a calendar where I'm like, okay, I'm going to return calls in the morning. I'm going to check on properties in the morning. If I'm partnering with something, you know, I'm going to spend 30 minutes on this and then 30 minutes calling all my partners. Then I'm going to spend 30 minutes on outreach. And now this 30 minutes, I'm going to go for a walk because I need some sunshine. And I actually have to put it on the calendar. How much has real estate transformed your life? I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. So um, everything you know, is on my timeline. If I don't feel like doing a flip you know, in this month because it's going to be really have heavy, then I don't have to do a flip. I can do a different kind of deal. Have you done anything that was a dream that real estate has helped you to achieve that goal or that dream? I would focus on the travel. So I'm not a super material person. Who would you like to thank you for you to be here today? Ultimately, I don't feel like I would be here if I hadn't to come across Bill and Shinoa's program and then having like a very trusting and understanding husband where I'm not going the straight and narrow path. And then my parents for making me a very independent thinker. Are you proud of yourself? I am proud of myself. I feel like everything that's important to me, I've touched on. Am I done yet? No, I probably will never be done. What is next on your agenda? To continue to grow and learn where a short term, the next two years, where I can go you know, double my income while also being able to soak up the last few years of my kid's childhood, right? I want both. What would you say for those family or those female that's out there? They think there is not much hope out there. You just have to have faith and, and trust yourself. Then be strong enough to make the change. What would you recommend for those people who doesn't know where and how to do it the next step? Just like myself or anybody else, you, you have to kind of put yourself in an area where you start to learn. If you know you want to do something, then you start to go towards that resource that can help. If they are watching us right now, mm -hmm. what are the things that they can get away from your interview, your journey, that they can start moving toward their goals? Whether real estate or not, if you if you have money behind you, you have options. I love real estate. I mean, I can't even think of anybody that would be in this that wouldn't love it. But even if it's a means to an end, right, it's, it's giving you the ability. Any final words? I guess I would just tell um, new people, you know, new investors, keep at it. Do the work. You're going to be so happy that you did. We appreciate you taking the time and being here with us, sharing your journey. And we can't wait to continue to see you growing as this beautiful woman, entrepreneur, mother. And uh, so we thank you for being here with us today. Thanks, Olivier. I appreciate you having me. Thank you.